What is going on everybody? Welcome back to some more positional previews for the New York Giants. Um, I want to start off by saying thank you guys for watching. Um, I didn't think it was going to be, I know I, I didn't even hit 100 views on these other two videos yet, but at least I still have people commenting and they're liking the videos. I don't have one dislike yet. And um, yeah, I'm happy to see that you guys are enjoying it. And um, I'm happy, I'm growing in subscribers since these past two videos came out. I think I grew in like eight subscribers since. So I want to thank you guys for that. And um, yeah, let's get right into it. All right, tight end Larry Donnell. Um, he is expected to make this roster. I don't think anybody's really going to beat him out for it. He has the most experience there. We only have four tight ends on the roster as of right now. Um, we don't know, um, you know, if the Giants are going to sign anybody, any of the undrafted free agents later. But um, that's what I have the training camp roster for. I'm going to make a video on that once the, tr the official training camp roster comes out. Like I said, guys, these are the unofficial rosters that I'm going over. These aren't official rosters. The official rosters don't come out till like, training camp, like, after OTAs and stuff like that. So, yeah, which, by the way, OTA started today. I'm so excited. Um... So yeah, Larry Donnell expected to make the roster. Um, you sure he's not a run blocking tight end, but you know what? He gets the job done in the passing game. He needs to work on his ball carrying skills, and that's really all I have to say about him. He is a little slower for a tight end, but his size just overpowers everybody that he steps up against. So, um, yep. Let's uh, move on to Will Ty. Um, wow, I, I'm so happy we have him on our offense. I really am. I mean. Um, Going into training camp last year, I liked Matt Lacoste a little better. Not because of, uh, you know, his play, but I kind of saw more of Matt Lacoste. Um, I saw more, Matt, Matt Lacoste was on the field, and that's assuming that the coaches liked Matt Lacoste more than um, Will Ty. But um, ultimately, they decided to, to sign Will Ty instead of Matt Lacoste, and um, I think they did a fine job at doing that. Um, so, Will Ty, I'm excited to see what he's going to do. Um, he is our pass-catching tight end. Um, nowadays, they kind of have, you know, there's a pass-catching tight end and there's a run-blocking tight end. I mean, nowadays, you know, you really can't find anybody that does both. So, um, yep. Um, Jarrell Adams, moving on to Jarrell Adams, our fourth, I know, sixth-round draft pick. And I'm pretty excited about him because I'm not excited about the stats he's going to put up because he's not going to put up many. We already have two pass-catching tight ends, and he's not really the best pass-catching tight end. But he is a run-blocking tight end, and that's something th that the Giants have needed for years on upon years. So the Giants, excited to have uh, Jarrell Adams. That was a steal in the, sec in the sixth round, in my opinion. He can be such a great asset to the running game to throw him on the right side of the field, which is where we have trouble at uh, upon running the football. So I can't wait to see what he's going to do there. So, yeah. Um, next, we have Matt Lacoste. And Matt Lacoste was just signed onto the roster last year at the end of the season. Didn't put up many stats, not expecting it. But um, he is an athletic tight end, another pass catching tight end. And I'm. I'm looking forward to seeing him and Will Ty go after it again um, for the second year in a row to see who wins that, that role. Last year it was Will Ty. Will, will it be Matt Lacoste this year? We don't know yet, but I'm, I'm excited to see that kind of tight end battle uh, in training camp and the preseason. Moving on to our last tight end, and by the way, I think I said I, we had four tight ends on the roster by accident. We had five, we have five tight ends on the ro uh, roster right now. Um... Moving on to our last tight end, Ryan Malik out of Virginia Tech. Um, there's not much to his game, really. I think he's going to be cut. He's going to be the first tight end cut. There's really not much to him. Um, he can't separate from defenders. Uh, not only that, he can't run block either. So if you, can't, if you can't do successful in the passing game and you really had nothing to offer in the running game, I mean, what's the point of you sticking around? Am I right? So... Um, so Ryan Malik isn't, you know, I really don't see much in him. I don't really see him competing for anything, really. Maybe if he could become somewhat of a possession tight end. Um, 
you know, someone someone that's going to, you know, run a quick route and use his height to uh to catch the ball like Larry Donnell does. He's not the fa- Larry Donnell's not the fastest guy and he definitely, you know, doesn't have the route running ability. He kind of is just so big that it's hard to keep him away from catching the football. So if he can establish that kind of role for himself, then maybe he has a chance of competing. But other than that, not really. So that's all I had today, guys. I am tomorrow or Wednesday, depends on when I do all my research on the offensive line, because there's a lot of people that I'm not uh, not familiar with. So yeah, offensive line is next. Then we're moving on to the defensive defensive side of the ball, and uh, yeah, that'll be it. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.